Hey everyone, it's Vince here. Welcome to my video showing you all how you can earn money by typing up YouTube subtitles. I really hope you guys enjoy this video. Please remember to hit like and subscribe. I'm going to walk you through the steps of creating your own little Fiverr business, guys. For the people that don't know what Fiverr is, think of Fiverr as an online marketplace where freelancers like myself can sell their services across the globe. Because that is right, we are going to start selling our services on Fiverr. Let's begin, shall we? Now, the first thing we have to do is head to Fiverr.com. You can either do that by going to Google and typing it in, or use the link in the description below, which is my affiliate link. Once you are on the Fiverr website, head to the top right corner of the screen and tap Join. If you already have a Fiverr account, then don't worry about this step. Now, as you guys can see, Fiverr gives you multiple options to sign up with. I personally signed up with my Google account because it was much more easier for me. Mind you, everyone, this isn't some survey application or a money-making app. This video is here to help you sell your services for legitimate money. So when you sign up for Fiverr, please use your legitimate information because now we're moving into a more serious category of earning money online. The idea here is that we're gonna sell our services, AKA writing subtitles for YouTube videos. YouTube creators are probably gonna reach out to us eventually. By the way, everyone, don't panic. I will be teaching you all how to write up the subtitles and what website I used as well, okay? Now that you've created your Fiverr account, my advice would be to sign out and then head back to the Fiverr homepage. If you look at the top right corner of the screen now, you'll see an option to become a seller. This is where I signed in again with my Fiverr account that I just created. Now, as soon as you hit the become a seller button, it will take you to a page where you get to read and listen to the terms of service essentially on Fiverr. Pretty much this is where Fiverr tells you exactly what they expect from you and what they don't expect from you, okay? So you just keep pressing continue essentially once you've listened and read all the terms of service. Next up, you'll get to the profile page. Now this is where you actually start creating your seller account. So of course you'll have your first name and last name there. Note that people will not actually see your first name and last name as it is private, okay? So keep that in mind. Next, you'll have your profile picture. Now, for the sake of this video, I actually went onto Google and downloaded a copyrighted free profile picture, guys. So if you don't know where to really start, head to Google and try and find some copyright free profile pictures that are relevant to your profile name, like perhaps the first letter of your profile name, or even upload a picture of yourself if you want. You also have to write the description of your seller's account. Pretty much this is where you write what you want to offer people, guys. So for my description, I just type the basic in that I like to watch YouTube videos and will actually convert the YouTube videos into subtitles for creators. I also mentioned that I speak fluent English and I cover all types of content essentially. I say that because I don't want to limit what kind of videos I actually get sent to convert into subtitles. Also, if you can speak more than one language, you can actually add that at the bottom of the screen there where you can see languages. Obviously speaking multiple languages will be a big benefit to you here on Fiverr. Once you've completed that section, this is where we actually get to choose our occupation. I chose two occupations. One was transcripts and the other one was proofreading and editing. If you feel like you are more comfortable with other options, then feel free to tick them as you have up to five of them to choose from. Now, you do need a minimum of two, plus you need to say how long you completed those occupations for and two, so I chose 2021 to 2021. Pretty much that means that I'm still in that occupation right now, I'm assuming. I couldn't really find a YouTube subtitle button there, but I'm fairly sure you could probably add that in if you click the add new button. Underneath that is skills. This is where I found YouTube subtitles and I put my skill level as intermediate because obviously I'm a YouTube creator guys and I've had experience with it before. I also entered in typing video subtitles and subtitling as intermediate, just to add a little bit more spice to my skill section. Now the next section is the education area. I entered nothing for the education area, guys. What I'd recommend from this point onwards is that you pause this video, head to the description below, and complete a typing test. Let me show you how you can earn this online typing certificate. Now, the website we're heading to is called Rattatype. All you literally need to do is go into Rattatype and hit the take a typing test. 
It is literally that simple, everyone. Once you've completed the test, it will give you a typing speed and accuracy number. Then it will also present you with a certificate underneath that. All you need to do is press get my typing certificate, sign up with either your Google account or just enter an email address. Then it will take you to your profile page. This is where you can click the certificate tab, right click the certificate on the screen and hit save as, and then you save the picture to your computer. This will come in handy for later on. The good thing about Ratatype, everyone, is that people can actually validate your score with a little link in the actual certificate. I'm not too certain on the validation process of entering that certificate in to your personal information. I mean, it's up to you if you want to try it out, guys. If you have any issues, maybe just take away that information. But I'm going to tell you how you can use that certificate later on when you actually create the page that people will see to purchase your services. There is also a personal website area. I left that blank since I don't have a personal website. Next is the linked accounts page where I feel like having a Google account associated with your Fiverr account is more than enough. So I just hit continue. Now the last bit is the Fiverr security page and this is where things might get a little bit complicated depending on your country and what kind of information you've entered. I personally just had to enter in my mobile number to become verified guys. There wasn't really any drama to it. My email address was also already verified since I signed up with it. So, let me know in the comments below what kind of verification process you had to go through. But essentially, once you pass this page, you're pretty much on the home stretch to starting up your own little Fiverr business here for typing up YouTube subtitles. Once you hit finish and you've verified your account, the Fiverr website should take you to the actual business creation page. This is where we get to actually create our little business, guys. So we get to decide the title, what kind of work we do, and what we want to charge per our service. So as you can see, everyone, I've created a little template here for you all. I mean, you obviously have to spice it up yourself for your own page. But for the title, I literally just wrote, I will write subtitles for YouTube videos. Also note the category I chose, video and animation, plus subtitles and captions. Of course, for the language, I chose English. Now you'll have search tags as well, and this is where you want to write in what you think people will actually search for on the Fiverr website. Then I press save and continue. This next bit is the prices, everyone. This is where we get to decide how much we want to charge for our services. My advice to you is go and check out the competition, see what they're charging and either match it or undercut it. Because it seems at this point in the game, a lot of freelancers are charging around the same price. Maybe offer up some features that other freelancers are not offering. For example, the basic pack, I can actually tick off certain things that maybe they would have to pay for usually, but I can include it in the basic pack. I can also decide how much I'm willing to charge per video length. So a video that might be three minutes, I can charge $7 to cover that video guys per three minutes. So it gets to the point that you are literally timesing your revenue each three minutes by $7 or whatever price you've set. So if you manage to get a really big video, you can make a lot of money. Like imagine doing a video that's 20 minutes long and you're charging them $7 per 3 minutes. Now there is a section here called SRT file. I recommend if you're going to be typing out subtitles for YouTube videos, you include the SRT file. Now I'm going to show you how I create SRT files, but there are plenty of tutorials on YouTube themselves as well. The SRT file, aka the sub rip subtitle file, is pretty much a file that contains the text that is being spoke in the video. Now usually this is time stamped as well. Because us as YouTube creators really love not having to enter in any information. If we buy subtitles of someone, we just want to purchase the SRT file containing all the timestamps and words being said at those timestamps. So if you're able to do that for creators, we would actually pay pretty decently for it. So I recommend you tick that you will submit the SRT file for creators if you can actually do it. Obviously go through the other options available and if you think that you can offer them up, then tick it. I will show you how to create an SRT file, so make sure you stay tuned. Next up, we have to create the description of what we're offering. 
I mean, this is pretty straightforward. All I wrote down was, I will watch your YouTube video and write English subtitles for each of the words spoken with timestamps. Once you press save and continue, you'll then get to ask the buyer a question. I pretty much just put down the question of, do you want a Word document of the subtitles as well? Next up, we have the images page. So this is pretty much where you have to put in images to showcase your services. You will have to have one video explaining what kind of services you do. It can be a 10 second video, it doesn't really matter. You can actually have three images, and if I was you, I would upload the certificate that we earned earlier to our store so then people can see that we own a certificate and how fast and accurately we can type. So I went to Google and looked up some royalty-free YouTube pictures, and I added some font on top of it, guys. I would hope that you know how to edit a picture, but if not, then pretty much download a picture from Google that's royalty free, open it up in paint, and then enter some fonts on top of it. And then you can actually upload that back onto Fiverr. I recommend trying to make the most professional looking photos you can, by the way. And for the video, literally edit over some photos talking over it. If you have to, even take a little video with your phone talking about what you do for like 5 or 10 seconds. And then use that if you can. If all else fails, go to YouTube and type in how to edit photos and how to make a video easy. Now, I'm not a US citizen, so I just press no, and then I'm able to go to the next page. After writing that all up, guys, this is what we're left with. How cool is that, dude? And as you can see to the right of the screen, it actually has standard service. And this is where the buyer, aka the customer, can type in how many minutes of work they want from you. It is literally that easy, everyone. As I said, if you're not too sure what you're doing or if you don't know really what to base your prices on, look at other Fiverr sellers. Look at what they're doing. Try and base your stores on them because obviously they're doing something right. In my opinion, if I was you, I would type in the search on Fiverr, YouTube subtitles, and then just see what's on the market right now. Now, let me teach you how to create SRT files. This is assuming that you now have a buyer that has sent you a video. The website I used for this demonstration is called Happy Scribe. Now, Happy Scribe, I'm not too sure if it's a free website or not, but I was able to transcribe a 30 second video or so of a Family Guy episode, which I thought was funny. So this is all for demonstration purposes, guys. My advice to you is go to Google, try and find a free SRT site if you can. As I said, look it up on YouTube if you have to. But let me show you pretty much the process of what you can expect on any SRT site, essentially. So for Happy Scribe, it had an option to either import a video URL from YouTube directly, or I could upload a video. Now for this instance, I was using a funny family guy scene where Stewie wants Brian to hit him. What I ended up doing was watching the video second by second and typing down exactly what was said, making sure the timestamps matched up with the words that were coming out of the character's mouth. There was a download button on the top of the screen. It told me I could download the subtitle file as SRT. I downloaded that SRT file and that's what I would send to the buyer, everyone. For the sakes of the video, let me show you what it looks like on the YouTuber side. So as you can see, I go to the video that I uploaded, then I went to upload file, and then I imported the SRT file, and there you go. All the subtitles are now timestamped. That's exactly what kind of services you are selling to YouTubers, okay? Sometimes they might not want an SRT file though. This is where you just literally submit them a transcript of the video, word for word. Who knows what they want to do with those words, but that's up to the buyer. Your job would be just to write out subtitles. There might be much better SRT websites out there, guys. That's up to you to find though. I would recommend you look up other Fiverr tutorials as well for the whole process of actually getting payment. Obviously, you would have to set up your payment information on Fiverr as well. So please make sure you do that before actually accepting orders. So obviously, go to your profile and set up any billing information that's necessary. I chose PayPal as my recommended payment option. Just remember as well, everyone, this is not guaranteed money, okay? You are going up against other competitors in the same niche as you. That's why I'm saying you need to try your hardest to make the most professional looking Fiverr page and seller's page as possible. I'm fairly sure the minimum price on Fiverr is $7, so you need to make the most of a person's $7 
and make it so they go through you instead of the competition. So always keep that in mind, okay? I really hope this video helped you all guys. Thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed these type of videos, I'll make more of them. I'll catch you all in the next video in one to two days. Stay safe out there. See you next time.